Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles. I'm delighted to be joined by Gabriella. How are you doing? Hi, I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. Well, love having you. Uh, sorry we can't do it in person, but we're doing the best that we can. Um, but for those that haven't seen Papi, let's take a look at a clip. When I think of my dad, I think of him. I think of them. I think of a really loud whistle. I think of the moon and how she's just a big ball of cheese. I think of sunsets in Santo Domingo. And I think of a passenger seat. Um, I, I, I'm so happy to share this uh, moment with you because, you know, uh, this film, Pappy, is, 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 is so special and so heartwarming and so wonderful. Um, but for those that haven't seen it, tell us a brief synopsis of your documentary. Well, Papi is a documentary portrait of my own father in which I followed a one day at the beach that we took in Dominican Republic earlier this year, actually. Um, and it's sort of to capture both his spirit, but also the spirit of these road trips and adventures that we go in his four by four, because his main hobby right now is overlanding. Oh, I love it. Listen, what I love discovered at the film festival is that you know, you obviously got a wonderful relationship with your with your dad, and it's it's really beautiful to to, to see. It really, really is. And I I love that you're just you know casually you know enjoying the moments together. You know, taking video, and then you know it evolved into a film. When did that switch from just you know that moment to where it led it to it being a documentary? So we've been on like a two year journey of going back to the island when I visit and both of us going into these trips. And I didn't say this in the Q&A, but the reason that I took that up on myself was because my, so my grandfather passed away of cancer about five years ago. And my grandfather was like my dad, a very adventurous person. And when he was sort of going through treatment, my dad created like a map of the island for them to go on a road trip together when he got better. Sadly, he did not get better. But when my dad told me about this, I was like, okay, we have to go. We have to do it. Like we have to do it, you and me. Obviously the route was really, really long. So what we did is we started splitting it in chunks. So we promised ourselves that every time I would go back, we would do some sort of a route and sort of like talk about my grandfather and sort of have that like experience. Um, so that was like the first genesis of recording and sort of capturing these moments with my father. And some of them, I, I, I've, you know, I started shooting it with my phone. And the idea that I had was like, maybe I'll make like a YouTube video of it and, or like something. I, I, it was in a process where I was just an actor or, or like a writer. I, I didn't think of myself as a director. And as the year sort of evolved, about a year ago, I started really, really thinking of myself as a director and, and sort of taking hold of, of my own stories. So when I shot this particular section of the film, I already knew that I wanted to make some sort of narrative film about a father-daughter road trip. So the idea was just like archival footage for research. But then I started playing around and really, really capturing. I was like, oh my God, like this is such beautiful footage. And I was just like, what if I just do a short about it and, 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 and sort of show people and try to capture him? And, and I think that was a blessing because he was already so, much, so comfortable with the camera and, you know, he's so charismatic that, but it took all this time to warm up to it, but I'm so grateful that we, we it evolved like that. So it, it was like around January when that happened. And I mean, it's amazing the timing that you also, I mean, they say it was January of this year, um, you know, obviously a turn of this year, things obviously changed. It was almost like a, you know, a final hurdle before things really <laughs> been around in the world, you know, you got to enjoy this moment together, which was so special. Um, you know, seeing it played out on, on, on camera, you and your dad's relationship, it really is like a, a beautiful dreamlike, you know, relationship between father and daughter. And, you know, your father is just such an inspirational spirit. You can feel his spirit shine through 
on the camera, how much he loves you, just the experiences are together. And that he's really nourishing and experiencing life in that very moment. Like he's living in the moment. And, and I, you know, you, you either got that or you don't, but um, you know, I mean, that, just watching him just, you know, in the water with, you know, wine in one hand, cheese in another is like the most dream like mesmerizing scene for me, let alone anybody else. Like I'm that's my dream. Um, how, I mean, obviously, you know, your father, I mean, you must know that he's got this in incredible spirit, which, I'm, which comes, you know, flows through you too. Um, what, what, I mean, did, did, did you kind of say, Hey dad, um, you're really special and, and I want to make a film. How was, how was his reaction to it? Oh my God. Um, I would never, I mean, I, I, I love him and he know, and I think he's always teaching me things and, you know, I, I've seen him transform in the last years of his life um, because he's been tuned in. I think also the dad of his own father and sort of having his kids grow or up in a way, you know, I'm 25 now. And so sort of like seeing, and he's in his fifties. So seeing that transition of him, just like this, I have one life to live. And, and, and he's always had that, that thirst for life, but lately it's been even more potent. And I think um, it, it's been a journey of him to like, also like finding forgiveness and like, you know, I'm not going to disclose all his personal business, but I know that it's the in-between moments of to where he is now that he he's learned so much. And so I'm, I'm very grateful that he shares with me all these sort of nuggets of knowledge and, and through mm -hmm. him, I get to sort of embrace myself as well. So I never sort of mentioned it. I just, I made it always like an us thing because I feel like the moment I tried to have him perform the moment it was, it was gonna lose its magic. So I, I know my dad very well. So I know that the moment I tell him like, explain this thing, it becomes presentational. And, and sometimes I leaned into that because it's also part of who he is. He's a people person. And I'd like to think that I inherited that from him. Mm -hmm. So I know when that's playing, but he's also one of these people that always wants to enjoy things to its maximum sort of potential. So like, yeah, we're at the beach. And he brings his own little cheese board and he's like, <laughs> you know, doing all these things. Cause like, that's what he likes. And he's like known himself to the point that now he gets to just say, you know what? Life is short and I'm going to do me. So, and I think that happens with age probably, you know, cause I still have all these insecurities and mm -hmm. I'm trying to discover myself and make it in the business and all these things. But to him, it's just like, you know what? I'm healthy. I'm grateful. Let's, let's have a good day. Yeah. And I remember I was like a little tired um, and I was like, can we go at one point after we got, and he's like, no, 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 I can't go before we see the sunset. And I'm so grateful we stayed because the best moments in the film are, you know, yeah. when the sun is coming down and he just put the chair and, and that was all him. I was just like, okay, this looks good. Let, 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 let me capture this, you know? Wow. I love that. I love, I love that you captured these moments. Like, I mean, and these are real truthful you know, uh, natural moments that, that, that you share together. I think the wonderful thing, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's obviously taking something very personal. I mean, this is your relationship with him, you know, so it's, you know, you, it's, it's yours, you know, but I think the one thing that I certainly felt and I felt our audience feel as well is that, you know, you really just taught us uh, and reminded us just the importance of life and and enjoying moments and being in the moment and appreciating nature i mean you know all of the things that you were doing was available to you for free it was just the experience of 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 being by the beach and 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 wow like it was mesmerizing and i think particularly during these times it's such a great reminder of just the, the the beauty and the simplicities of life and and how you know your like you said your dad takes things to the maximum um, possibility and capabilities and and how much we don't sometimes do that in life and I think your dad was a great teacher for us all to remind us of what's important you know and and what we I should think so. and love you know and love and 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 I was just like oh was, I honestly had tears like it was that it was it was stunning and and I'm so glad you shared that with us um going on from that I really do love the way that it was I mean Let's go into this because for any other filmmakers out there that are hesitating about making a film, um, I love how you shot this. I love the, the filter that you gave us. Um, and tell us a bit more about that. 
<laughs> well, <laughs> if I fooled some people, I think I succeeded because the film was shot entirely on my I iPhone XR. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, iPhone. <laughs> I find like, um, I'm amazed by it. Um, and I think there's so much, again, there's so much accessible to us. Mm -hmm. I made this film for free. I, the trip we took was for free. And so it just, you know, it's, it's hard because I think you, nobody can teach you a, to have a point of view. I think that's what's sort of priceless, um, having a point of view. But once you have that, then just trust your instincts and know that you might have already everything you need. And so, yeah, I just started experimenting with some apps and some filters that would give you some sort of home movie effect. Cause I knew, I wanted to to sort of capture a home video uh, style because to me it's really funny that our parents film us when we're little with all these VHSs and all that stuff. So I wanted to do a reverse of that of how do I I film my dad because I think cool. the whole film is you knowing that he's connected to his inner child. So that was kind of like the poetry behind it in my sort of psyche. And then I wanted to mix the mediums because I think it gave a sort of scrappy film, like a scrappy sort of um, organic, uh, not pretentious in a way. Because I think, you know, he also talks about that at, at the end, no, no spoilers, but he talks about how he wants to be captured and how he wants to be remembered as someone who's authentically himself. So I, I never wanted it to, I always wanted it to feel like it was just a, a day in the life stream of consciousness. And so, most of the of the, the the film is one day, but then I also added some other snippets of other trips that we had and mm -hmm. just like memories. I wanted to feel like uh, you were coming into a memory of mine. Wow, this is so good to say because you know, for anybody out there, you can do it. You know, no matter what resources you have or what you know, you made it happen, which is beautiful. So going on, taking it from you know. I mean, obviously, it just was captured in the beautiful place where you're from, the Dominican Republic, which is, I mean, everybody is going to want to go there after seeing your film. They've not been there already. Um, it's amazing and, and beautifully captured. Then you have your, obviously, your wonderful relationship with your father, capturing your footage on the iPhone. Next steps, you're with us at New Filmmakers LA in partnership with the Academy Awards. How does that feel like going from this whole journey to be here? How is that? It must be feel amazing. I call it the little film that could. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I, I truly do. I, it's so funny because at first I just wanted to make something and I just wanted, and I had um, seen a couple of, of other shorts and other, other thing, like a, a friend of mine who's an amazing filmmaker, her name is Natalie Chow. Uh, she's a Hong Kong based filmmaker. She made uh, um, entirely like filming an actual DV sort of home movie about her own mother and sort of tracing her mm -hmm. through that. And I was just so inspired by the fact that she started by the personal and, and I do the same thing where I start by my own personal journey, but I had never taken it to that next level, which was actually finishing something yeah. so so yeah it feels surreal I'm so glad it's with my dad it feels like such a beautiful thing to me I just wanted him to like the film I sent it to him first and he was so happy and then Aww. to see my grandma see it and so that has been truly the most special sort of thing of all this journey yeah. and like how you know he's like my star he's just so proud <laughs> what is it what do you what do you say when you told him it was in partnership with you know with the academy awards was he like oh my goodness like was that is that special well yes uh, uh, he's always he's, he reposts everything he would be like look they reposted me <laughs> um and also yeah. he was just like I don't know, we joke around about how, like, of course, the, the what's going to get me to fame is his sort of, <laughs> <laughs> he's the one that's taking me to fame. He's like, when are you going to take me to the Oscars, you know? Uh, and, you know, I'm I'm so, I think New Filmmakers is such an incredible festival, and I'm, I'm so happy to, to have it here, and, and, and in this Hispanic Heritage Month, it's just such a special, Amazing. special sort of 
back, like, you know, yeah. snippet of the moment well, that we're in. You're absolutely right. I mean, it is a special. It's our celebration um, of Hispanic Heritage Month. And it's, it's lovely to combine some amazing talent from all over the U.S., Central America, South America. Like, was it special being part of this particular program as well? Because it really does showcase amazing talent. It, it was awesome. Um, I think what, what what I love about the film make, the this film festival in particular is like it's so curated, and because it's not something that's like three hundred like a hundred films or like fifty films, it's like I don't know like twenty or yeah. something like that. It was like and and it felt like every section felt of a piece. Like I, I when I was seeing the other shorts, I was like, oh my god, there's a connective thread, like a similar heartbeat, and mm -hmm. and I'm just happy, you know. I'm so inspired by the the, the friends I made, even yeah. if, even virtually, you know. Right. So that's what it's about, isn't it? Um, yeah. Um, so Gabrielle, what is next for you? Well, staying in the same theme because clearly my dad is the key to my success. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let no, him get it. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm actually um, writing and prepping for my first narrative, full narrative film that I'm going to direct solo. Um, yeah. And it's a sort of a, an extension of this. So that film is called Piratas, and it's a father-daughter road trip movie in the Dominican Republic. I won't disclose much about the details, but it's definitely inspired by my relationship with my dad in a more fictional setting uh, with a little bit more magical realism, but I'm hoping to shoot that back in Dominican Republic next year. That's wonderful. That's so exciting. And I'm so glad that you are um, filming, um, you know, filming the Dominican Republic because it really is a, a stunning place and some amazing work comes, comes out of your country. It's really, really fantastic. Um, just want to add also to, uh, you know, I really felt in the film festival, you gave some wonderful advice to people and you have a very wonderful aura to, to, to be some people, a person that people can look up to so early on in your career. Um, do you have any advice you could share with our filmmaking audience to sort of, you know, um, anything that you go by as for you as a filmmaker? Well, what I've learned, um, from, this whole year that I've been in, I've applied to everything from script competitions to fellowships to film festivals. And I've gotten so many rejections and it feels so amazing when that rejection is, is, a, is a yes and not a no. And what I realized in this whole year of putting myself out there is that it, it teaches you that some things are gonna land and some things are not, and then you'll end up when you need to end up. And what you just need to do is just go for it. I, I really think so. I Look, I went to acting school and I took film classes, but I didn't go to, I, my journey as a creator has been very organic. I've learned as I go. And I think that's completely valid. I think if you can get on set, get on set. If you can watch videos, watch videos. If you, if you wanna say something, Try it, try and try and find a way to make it happen and also find people that believe in you and, and help them out as well. And I think I think you should you should never just trust your intuition. I think that's the most important thing. And and just jump, jump in, jump in and lean yeah. in. And I think and I think even if it's you don't see the results immediately, you'll see the the sort of fruits of your labor as you go. Oh, I love, I, it's very true. Very, very true. Well, I mean, I think you're absolute proof of just making things happen, you know, and, and doing it and not letting anything stand in the way. And as a filmmaker, you really need to have that grit um, to do that. And, and uh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see your feature. I'm, I'm ready for it, please. Just, just, just make it happen for us. <laughs> Um, you know, um, but listen, thank you for Pappy, your wonderful father. Um, thank you for you and, and making this film. And it's been such an honor. And uh, I just can't wait to keep seeing more of your work. So thank you very thank much. Thank you so much, Danny. Thank you, everyone, new filmmakers. For real, it's been such a great, great time.